We've added a brand new collection of icons in Thrive Architect. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how and when should you use these new icons. Let's have a look. Hello, I'm David from Thrive Themes. And these new icons that I'm talking about are part of the so-called font awesome set. Now, if you're not familiar with font awesome, it is basically a vast collection of icons where you can find pretty much anything from popular logo icons to more common icons that you can then use on your website. And one of the cool things about this set is that for any icon you choose, you're gonna have three different styles available for it. Light, regular, and solid. As you can see, this is how it looks for these particular icons. Now, I'm gonna talk more about this particular feature later on in this video. For now, let's talk about what exactly do you get with Thrive Architect and Font Awesome. Because without Thrive Architect, you only have free access to about 1,200 of the Font Awesome icons. For the rest of them, you would have to pay extra. However, with Thrive Architect, you will have full access to the entire 3,600 icon collection straight from the editor. Before we dive into the customization options that come with this set, I wanna talk a bit about why you should consider using an icon instead of an image. Let me give you an example. Here we have two files, right? The one on the right is an image and the one on the left is an icon. And right now, you can't really tell much of a difference between the two, right? They both have 150 pixels and their quality is all right. But let's see what happens if we increase that size to 500 pixels. So we'll start with the image and we'll simply set the size to 500. And as you can see, the quality of it is severely affected by this increase in size. And let's see what happens if we do the same thing to the icon. So we'll set it to 500. And as you can see, it looks good. The quality wasn't at all affected by this increase in size. And this is one of the major reasons why you should consider using an icon instead of an image, simply because you don't have to worry about what will happen to it if you increase their size by so much. Another benefit that the icon has over the image is its customization options. With the image, you can pretty much do anything, right? But with the icon, you have a lot of customization options. And let me show you what I mean by that. We're gonna have a look at this page, which is an example page that was built by our wonderful designers. And I'm gonna show you how you can build beautifully designed layouts with the help of the icon element in Thrive Architect. So we're gonna have a look at this page. As you can see, multiple icons used to build this page. And what we're looking to do is we're looking to build this particular layout here. I'm gonna show you how you can build these icons here with these boxes in Thrive Architect very easily. Now, here we are in editing mode on this page. And as you can see, the icons are missing. We're only gonna focus on building the icons, not the rest of the content as well. Now, we're not gonna nail the exact color and the exact size for these layouts. We're only interested in finding out how you can build that particular layout with Thrive Architect. So we're gonna start with adding a few content boxes because these squares that you can see here are essentially content boxes. So I'm gonna add the element above this paragraph and I'm gonna change the size to around 150, something like that for the moment. And then we're gonna go ahead and change its background style. We're gonna add a background color to be something like this maybe, and then add a gradient. Now on this side, I'm gonna minimize the opacity and we're gonna have something like this. Now the next step is to add the icon inside the content box. So add the icon element, place it inside, and we're gonna look on the original page it was something about bump, right? We're gonna search for it here. And as you can see, we have the three styles here. We have light, regular, and solid. So we're gonna have a look at the original page. And this looks something like a regular icon. So we're gonna choose it, as you can see. And now what we're gonna do is 
we're going to decrease this size even more. We're going to click on the content box and its width, set it to 50 pixels and its height as well to 50. Now it doesn't look that good because we have to click on the icon and we'll go to the layout and position option, click on advanced and here we're going to click on absolute. As you can see, the size of the content box was rendered nicely. We're going to edit the position of the icon at the top. We're going to adjust it as you can see to be something like this and the left side as well. And as simple as that, we have the layout. Now all we have to do is click on the content box and align it to the center. And there you go, we have the first layout. Moving forward, we're not gonna repeat the same process, but when you have to build more layouts like this, you can simply duplicate the first one, right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on the content box and we're gonna duplicate it twice. And we're gonna select each one of them. We're gonna drag it onto the second column and the third one as well in third column. And now all we have to do is simply replace the icon. So we're gonna look on the original page. This is something regarding a balance. I believe it's also a regular one like the first icon. So I'm gonna search for balance and I'm gonna have a look again. I think it's this one right here. Right, as simple as that. We don't have to adjust it anymore because it will inherit the properties of the first design, basically. And the last one, now this icon can be a little tricky to find because you would be tempted to, to search something like bird or something like that, but it is actually a dove. So this is what we're gonna apply. You need to be careful when searching for these icons. Sometimes it can be harder to find them, but you have to try out all the different combinations available for that certain icon. So there we go, we have the layout. Now, a different use case for the icon element could be its use on a button, for example. As you can see, for example, if we click on this button, we have an icon here that has a background style and a corner added to it to give it this design. Right, a different use case could be the styled list. For example, here we have a styled list and as you can see here at the left side, we have icons and these can all be changed by choosing a different icon from the font awesome set. And basically this concludes the introduction of font awesome icons in Thrive Architect. If you have any questions or suggestions regarding this, don't forget to leave them below and I'll see you guys in the next video.